Welcome to my video on how to set up Postman authorization with Google's Auth server. I often use applications like Postman to verify APIs. It allows me to double check the setup of my client ID, my client secret, to ensure that I'm calling with the correct scopes and that the API is actually returning the data that documentation says it should be returning. Any links mentioned in this video can be found in the description section below. The first thing we need to do is find the location of the authorization and token endpoints for the authorization server. These can be found in the discovery doc. All authorization servers have a discovery doc. It is basically just a list of standardized endpoints that they are prepared to respond on. I have added a link in the description section below to Google's discovery doc. Now we need to add the path to the API endpoint we would like to request data from. The request I will be making in this example is just to the Google's People API. This will allow me to see my profile information. Now we need to go to the Authorization tab. Select OAuth2 from the dropdown. For this to work, we need to have created web credentials on Google Developer Console. If you don't know how to create these credentials, you should click this link to see another one of my videos on how to create credentials JSON. In the description section, you will find the redirect URI you will need when creating your credentials. Make sure that you add the authorization and token endpoints in the proper locations. Now we just need to add the client ID and the client secret. It is very important to select encode URL component. Now that we've set all that up, we can add our scope. Each API endpoint has a different scope, which is required in order to make requests against it. So make sure that you check the documentation for the endpoint that you're trying to connect to, to be sure that you're requesting the proper scope. I'm going to use profile here, since all I'm going to be requesting is profile information. Then we can click get new access token. The first time you run this, your browser may require you to enable a couple of pop-ups. Go ahead and enable them. You should see the OAuth consent screen. This is the screen where you consent to your application, in this case, Postman, accessing your data. Once you clicked accept, you should be forwarded back to Postman, where we can select use token. This will be then added to the call. So every call that we make to the API will include a bearer token in the header with your access token. Then we just need to click send to send our request to the API. And here's the response coming back from the API. If you liked this video, go check out this other one. I think you might find it interesting. If you enjoyed my content, please remember to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you back soon.